Okay, hello, how are you today, if you're here? Well, so pay attention now. Yes, okay. I want you to, I know how to laugh. Better, okay. So we are going to check, how are you today? I hope you are happy, fine, yes, okay. Well, you were excellent the other day in the emotional soon. I really liked it, yes, okay. Well, so we are going to check pages 70, 71, from the exam maximizer, we're going to check page, page 22 from the quadrilegio. Remember, you have to hand in composition number eight from the list. Today, we are going to start the last unit of this book, okay? So be prepared. We have wish, if only, and we are going to revise conditional three. You are going to write your own examples, at least one e example in your notebook, okay? So we are going to work on pages 122, 123, 124 from the class book. And as homework, you are going to do 72 and 73, 74 also from the exam, Maize um, Well, the exercises of grammar. Yes. And then composition number 9 from the list and page 27 from the quadrilegio. Okay, is it clear? Right, so pay attention now. Yes, shall we go to the correction of the activity book? Yes, okay. Good, 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 good. Page uh, 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 70 and 71. 70 and 71. All right, there we are. Good. So we have choose the correct alternative to complete the sentences. I'm in exercise and exercise one from page 70. Uh, such a two so three so four so five such an interesting program six so well seven such excitement in the crowd eight so hard exercise two very two enough three two very five two six very seven enough and eight enough yes let's go to the speaking part exercise one isn't it the question type do we don't you? Does it? My mother cleans the house every day. Does she? Doesn't she? Yes. She doesn't sleep well. Does she? Okay. Nos acordate. Negativo, positivo. Positive, negative. Okay. Number five. Has it? Will day? It is a very sunny day, isn't it? Yes. Okay. Isn't he? Won't you? Exercise two. Where are you from? Anna, I'm from Poland, Sinelde. I live in Warsaw, Warsaw, Sinelde. I come from. No, I am coming. I live in E. I am like, no, I like the people in my town. En, la ul, en el último párrafo, things to do, not for doing. Cafes, restaurant, walks in the park. Yes, okay. And that's all. Yes, good, good, good. Uh, let's go to the other part. One, the writing there, 71. The exhibition is on the of furniture. Two, it is at the Living Design Museum. Three, it shows how furniture has developed over the last 100 years. And four, it was interesting for the winter as he or she is studying art and design and is interested in furniture. Number two, one, particularly, two, reason, three, favorites, four, display, five, how, six, however, seven, thoroughly, advice, three, 
two. Last paragraph should be divided in two. Okay? And that's it. This is all from here. So I want you to go to the um, page 22 from the quadrimedial. Yes? Okay? Are you there? Right, right, right. Good. Number two. So, number three, such a. Number four, such a. Number five, such a. Number six, so. Number seven, so. Number eight, so. Number nine, such a. Number ten, so. Okay? So that's all from here. Uh, composition number nine. says, write an email giving advice between 100 and 180 words. You are a doctor. A patient needs advice on how he can successfully lower his high cholesterol level. Yes, okay. Well, you have the mass word there. Mass words must be highlighted. Is it clear? Right. So, let's go. So, I'm going to project some um, women. Yes. And you have to know if you know her, if you know them, and if you don't know them, then we're going to read about her, about them, yes, and um, you are going to say which one do you like and why. So this unit is called science and science and society and I want you to tell me or to talk at home how many scientists do you know and if you have a many uh, and if you have a favorite scientist uh, do you know many um, women yes how many women do you know that are famous scientists uh, do you think that uh, for women it was difficult years ago, many years ago, uh, to be successful, to succeed in their investigations. So we are going to, we are going to look at the photos there. Yes, and this is Ada, it has more names. Yes, okay. Aguta Ada Byron. Yes. Uh, she uh, is the uh, Lord uh, Byron's. Yes, favorite, uh, favorite, not famous daughter. Yes, okay. Uh, you know, Lord Biden was one of the um, most important uh, writers in England. Yes, okay. He was a very important poet. And you know, her daughter was very important too. Yes, okay. Uh, she died very young at the age of 36 years old. Yes, uh, she made uh, contributions, yes, to, uh, she was very uh, interested in maths, yes, okay, um, well, then she met Charles Babbage, yes, okay, and he was called the father of the computer, yes, okay, well, unfortunately, this, um, this design, yes, the earliest design of machines, uh, you know, weren't um, built because they didn't have money. Yes, but then uh, she had her, uh, she translated her notes, yes, and she had, uh, she translated uh, an Italian review of uh, this uh, ba Babbage, Babbage proposed machine, yes, okay, and she had her nose on how to calculate certain sequences of numbers, yes? So she was a very, very, very intelligent woman, yes, okay? Uh, she had bad health, yeah, bad, bad health, so she uh, had to be educated, yes, at home, okay? Uh, she was very, she developed a, a very remarkable mathematical, mathematical mind, yes? So... 
Uh, she was a very intelligent woman. And remember, at those periods, yes, being a woman, being a scientist in a, in a world ruled by men was very, very, very difficult. Yes, okay. We have... Uh, this is the first one. Then we have... Uh, well, maybe you have uh, at home these tales of uh, tales of Peter Rabbit and his friends. Yes, okay. And you know the writer is uh, Beatrix Potter. Yes, she was a very very famous. Uh, You know, there she's surrounded by all the main characters of her, um, of her um, books. Yes, okay. Uh, she was famous for these stories. Yes, cute animals. Yes, cute rabbits. Yes, and the drawings, the illustrations were amazing. Yes, okay. Um... When she was little, yes, she was uh, isolated from other children. Yes, her parents decided to educate her at home. Yes, okay, so she used to write all her secrets in a diary. Yes, okay, with a special code. Yes, she was very intelligent and she liked drawing the nature, plants. Yes, so she wanted to be a botanist, but then... She applied to become student. She was turned down, yes, because she was a woman, yes, okay? I told you that it was very difficult, yes, to be a scientist, yes, at those moments where men ruled the world, yes? So in spite of that, she continued to study nature on her own. She drew pictures, plants, and everything, and then she became... Uh, an expert of mushrooms, yes, on mushrooms, yes, okay, and then fortunately uh, she continued writing, yes, because you know, if you can, if you have the possibility to read these tales, yes, of Peter Rabbit and his friends, are very, very nice tales, yes, okay, I really recommend you. Then we have, uh, you know, Jane. She was very criticized because her because of her connection with um, um, at those periods at those periods people didn't know much about uh, chimpanzees about uh, their relationship their way they way to communicate yes okay their way of um, acting yes okay. Um, so she was very admired, yes, she was an, um, she had the opportunity to work for anthropologist Louis uh, Leike in Africa, so he was impressed, impressed by her knowledge, yes, so um, she spent many hours in the National History, Natural History Museum, yes, okay, um, she had little, yes, she had little formal education, but Lewis wanted someone with an open mind. Uh, this was uh, very important of, from her. She was very open-minded. She studied the chimpanzees, and she discovered that they used tools, yes. At those periods, anybody knows that they used tools. They could use tools, yes. So that's why she was very successful and admired. But in other... Um, uh, part, other parts of the society didn't like her because she was, uh, you know, very passionate and she supported, um, she, st she is still alive and she continues supporting um, uh, animals' rights. Uh, she dedicates her, li dedicate her life to protect animals, yes, okay? And she's very criticized, yes, okay? Because many science, scientists don't approve her, yes, spending so much time with the media, yes, okay? Entonces, decimos que es muy mediática, yes? 
So, you know, and this is a very nice picture. She's connected to the chimpanzee. Yes, okay. So, all these are women, important women that make a um, contribution, a contribution, yes, to uh, science. You know, she's Rosalind Franklin. Yes, okay. And you know, you have a D DNA chain. Yes, okay. She was very, very famous. You will read in the text. So this is a short, I'm doing a short, um, this is the time. Yes, okay. Uh, well, so she was, she died very young, 37 years old. Yes, okay. Um, you know, she um, was a very, very important woman. She uh, make, uh, made different kind of, um, you know, uh, discoveries as regard DNA. Yes, okay. Um, well, many scientists, uh, she died and she wasn't recognized. Yes, her work was, wasn't recognized. After many years, yes, they recognized that she had to be, yes, she had the credit, yes, for discovering the structure of DNA, yes, okay. She cut, she made, uh, yes, some discovery that helped to the later discovery of the DNA, yes, okay. Without the work, yes, they could never have done this, okay. She died very young, yes, okay. Um, well, she didn't know that in the future she was going to be recognized, okay? Uh, well, you have all the story, yes, okay? And it, of course it was very difficult for her, yes, okay? She was called Rosie the Witch, yes? Other scientists took her, the credit for discovering the structure of DNA, but without her contribution, yes, of course it wouldn't have been possible. Okay, so uh, you have to choose, you know, this is a very nice picture, you know, she's there, yes, with a man there next to her, another scientist, yes, oh my god, that is a very beautiful picture, yes, so for those times, yes, uh, it was very difficult, nowadays, yes, women continue fighting, yes, uh, for having uh, a place, yes, for the rights, yes, for having a place in society. They all have, we all have a place in society, but at those periods, yes, at those moments, yes, uh, it was very difficult, yes, to be a scientist, to be part of society, because uh, the society was ruled by men. So, uh, have you got a famous, have you got a famous, um, scientists that you know that you admire so i want you to talk at home about a, a scientist a scientist you admire and you have to say why you admire this person this scientist okay um well so can we go to the listening Unit 12. Uh, that is exercise two listen to some facts about one famous female scientist and then you have to say who do you think it is Science and Discovery Reading Focus Activity 2 1 I married a Frenchman 2 Together we won a Nobel Prize 3 I also won a Nobel Prize for my work on chemistry 4 I named a chemical element after my original country. Do you know who she is? Okay, I tell you. If you don't know, she... Okay. Unit 12. Again. Science and Discovery. Reading Focus. Activity 2. 1. I married a Frenchman. She married a Frenchman. 2. Together we won a Nobel Prize. They won a Nobel Prize. So she's a well-known scientist. 
I also won a Nobel Prize for my work on chemistry. Another Nobel Prize for her work on chemistry? Four. I named a chemical element after my original country. Okay, so he named a, a chemical, a chemical, yes, okay. Chemical element. Element, okay. So she's Mary Curie, yes, okay. So she's very famous. She won, uh, you know, a uh, um, uh, Nobel Prize. She met uh, a very famous scientist too. Yes, okay, a French one. Focus. Activity 2. 1. I married a Frenchman. Okay. Well, uh, exercise 3. So you have to read the article, inspirations. You already know about these people because I have already shown a picture and we have already talked, I have named some things about uh, these um, women. So inspirations. Yes, okay, you will read this text. And you will, uh, for question 1 to 10, choose from the people from A to D. Okay? So, now is the time. And then you have to tell me which one is the person you admire the most. I admire all of them. Yes, because I think they wanted, uh, they made, they have made the effort for being part of a society uh, that at those period, at those times, was very difficult to be in. There has to be part in this in that society because it was ruled by men. So they fought for their rights. Yes. So I admire all of them. Yes. Okay. Good. Well. So um. One. See. Now is the time that you pause the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers. Okay. One. C, Two. A. Three. B. Four. A. Five. D. 6D, 7C, 8B, 9D, 10C. Okay, and I like Beatrix Porter because I really think that her stories really made a contribution contribution in literature. Yes, they are very nice stories. Uh, you can miss, uh, miss them because they are very cute, really cute. Yes, I really recommend if you find them, Read them, okay? It doesn't matter if you are uh, adolescent now. No, 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 no. You can read it at any age, yes? Okay? Well, so let's go to uh, 124. And this is the part, yes, uh, where you have to say what is your favorite invention and why? And what would you like to invent? Why? Yes? Okay? So we are going to read the, on, the online comment. What did Pear C. Spencer invent? And how did he invent it? Accidental inventions. Maybe you will have an Eureka, Eureka moment and you don't know. And then an invention will come from your mind. Okay? And you have to uh, do exercise uh, 4, exercise 7 and 9. Okay? So, but first of all, before doing that, I tell you, you have to do exercise 2, 4, seven and nine before doing them we're going to go to the board and i want you to open your notebook yes and you're going to write own examples using first of all conditional three if plus past perfect plus would have if i have known this woman i would have studied with her yes if i haven't gone to that party yes I wouldn't have I wouldn't have met my now husband if I had gone to um, Bariloche last year I would have seen the snow yes okay entonces aunque sea hacerte un ejemplo one example each yes okay at least one okay so Yes, ok. Acordate siempre que la if tiene que estar pegada, en este caso, al pasado. Yes, lo que siempre te digo, puede estar adelante o atrás, ok. I would have, I wouldn't have met my now husband if I hadn't gone to that party, ok. Entonces, acordate, el pasado perfecto se forma had más la tercera columna, el pasado participio, would have más la tercera columna de los verbos que es past participle, ok. 
Is it clear? Well, so if I wish, yes, I wish I had met him before. Yes, deseo, pero un deseo en el pasado. Deseo haberme encontrado con él antes. I wish I didn't pass the exam. I wish I had studied. Yes, okay. I didn't meet her last night. I wish I had met her because I wanted to talk to her. Yeah. Ah, oh, we haven't got milk. I wish I had remembered to buy that milk. Yes, okay. Is it clear? So, entonces tenemos deseos. Deseo haber estado. Eso es un deseo en el pasado. ¿Está claro? Um, I wish I could be with you. Deseo estar con vos. ¿Sí? Entonces nosotros tenemos un wish. I must wish. Esto sería en el pasado. Un wish en el pasado. ¿Sí? Para un pasado. Un wish para el presente. ¿Está? Is it que I wish I could be with you. Now. Yes. Deseo estar con vos. I wish I flew to Buenos Aires. Deseo viajar. I wish I traveled to Buenos Aires. Deseo viajar. Entonces, cuando tenemos el verbo acá en pasado, vamos a hacer referencia a un deseo en el presente. Y cuando tenemos acá, sí, eh, I wish I en un pasado perfecto. Entonces vamos a hacer referencia a un deseo en el pasado. ¿Es clear? Entonces hacerme dos con estas. I wish I could fly. I wish I could be with you. I wish I traveled. I wish I, I were on holidays. Yes, ok. I wish I was with... Uh, I wish I were uh, with my family now. Yes, I wish I were with my friends. Yes, I wish I had seen you before. I wish I had met you before. I wish I had traveled to Bariloche last year. Ok, is it clear? Yes, está. Entonces, que te quede claro. Cuando tenemos sujeto, I wish, más sujeto, más un pasado perfecto, estamos haciendo relación, ¿sí? Estamos refiriendo a un deseo en el pasado. Deseo haber ido a tal lugar, ¿ok? Y cuando tenemos I wish más un pasado, estamos haciendo referencia a un deseo en el presente. Y después tenemos if only. If only I could be with you. ¿Sí? Si solo pudiera estar con vos. Lo mismo que el wish. If only I have seen you. Si solo te hubiera visto. Yes, ok. I went to the party. If only I had seen her. If only I had seen him. Is it clear? Entonces, eso es lo que te tiene que quedar claro, ¿ok? Así que estudiar la gramática, hacer ejemplos. Por eso dice abajo, un exam. At least one, ¿ok? Is it clear? En papelitos post-it siempre me encanta que pongas todo esto, ¿yes? La gramática lo pegas ahí y te haces un ejemplo. Is it clear? Well, now yes, exercise two, yes, four, seven and nine. And you are free. Exercise two. The microwave by accident. He invented the microwave by accident when a chocolate bar melted in his pocket as he stood beside a magnetron. Yes. Three. Imagined. Past. Two. Can't. Ah, perdón, perdón. Tres no. Four. I haven't been a ghost scientist. Yeah. Hadn't been a ghost scientist. A good scientist. He could have realized the importance of the melted chocolate. Acuérdate que el condicional 3 ya te lo sabes. ¿Sí? Estamos haciendo revisión. ¿Ok? Quiero que te estudies el I wish. Yes. And if only. I wish I be with you. Yes. I wish. Yes. I was with you now. Yes. I wish I were. Yes. Ok. I wish I could fly. Yes. I wish I could see you. Yes. Ok, good. Siempre se utiliza if I were you, I wish I were, yes, ok. Um, well, ok, después tenemos, uh, have become a qualified scientist, she wouldn't have written books 
for children. Si no hubiese, ¿sí? si ella no hubiese ido a tal lugar, ella no hubiese tenido tal cosa. ¿Ok? ¿Estamos? Hadn't died at a young age, she could have got the recognition, yes, she deserved. Yes, ok. Four. Had had enough money, he could have built a computer machine. Hadn't had an unscientific approach to her work, other scientists would have approved of her. Yes, ok. Good. Exercise seven. In, had invented, had had. Have invented, have had, had never invented. Yes, okay, good. Uh, well, um, in exercise nine, when I was at primary, uh, you have a wish. Pensemos en un deseo when, I, when you were at primary. When I was at primary school, well, I wish I had studied uh, another language. Because I studied English, but I wish I had studied another language, French, for example. Yes? During my last holiday, I wish I had visited the Museum of Art uh, with my two daughters. Yes? And last weekend, I wish I hadn't gone to, to that awful party. This is an example. Okay? Good. Well, so that is solved. Yes, I want you to study. I want you to revise the grammar because these are not a lot of pages. Focus on the grammar. Do the activities I ask you, do the examples, please, at least one, but if you can't, do two, 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 okay? Two examples each, okay? Well, composition as homework, yes? Pages 72, 73, and 74, composition 9 from the list, and page 27 from the quadrant. See you next class. Bye-bye. Have a nice day.